have a more efficient data type in Python called array. These arrays take less memory and perform a little bit faster. But note that you will see the difference only if you're dealing with a large list of numbers, let's say 10,000 or more. So for 90% of the cases, you will use lists. But if you run your program and you see some performance problems, then you can see if you can solve the problem by replacing a list with an array. If you don't have any performance problems, don't try to optimize. In other words, don't solve a problem that doesn't exist. So let me show you how to use arrays in Python. To use an array, we need to import it from the array module. So on the top, from array, import array. So we have a module called array. And in this module, we have a class called array. It has the same name as the module itself. Now, we call array. Look at the first parameter. This is called a type code, which is a string that determines the type of objects in your array. So here in Google, search for Python 3 type code. Then click the first link. In this table, you can see all the type codes in Python. So it's a string of one character that determines the type of objects in your list. So if you're dealing with signed integers, you should use a lowercase i. So here, let's add i. And then as a second argument, we pass a list of integers. So we move this list here. Now we get an array. We can call it numbers. In this object, similar to lists, we have methods for adding new objects or removing existing ones. So we can call numbers.append to append a number to the end of the list, or we can use insert to add a number at a specific index. We also have pop and remove exactly like lists. And we can also access items by their index. So we can get the first item in this array. However, unlike lists, the objects in this array are typed. So here, every object should be an integer. If we try to put a floating point number here or any other kind of objects, we'll get an error. Let me show you. So I'm going to change the first item to 1.0. Now let's run the program. We get this type error, integer argument expected, got float. So every object in this array should be of the same type, which is determined at the time of creating the array using the type code. So to recap, use arrays only if you're dealing with a large sequence of numbers and you encounter performance problems. For other cases, use lists and tuples by default.